Hey, hi, it's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Tuesday, the 22nd of September, 2020. It's the autumn equinox. Happy autumn. <laughs> We're using Gilded Tarot for our message today. Our cards from the bottom of the deck. This is energy charging the atmosphere for us to navigate. Our first card is Beauty of Beauties. We have the Empress. Mm. What a sweet looking card. I feel that she's in command on this card today. And it's uh, it's the way she's holding on to the symbol. It's like a steering wheel. She's guiding the ship. Uh, that could also be seen a bit as the Wheel of Fortune. And she's the one turning it today. <laughs> well, who better, right? Uh, like the Emperor, she has loads of wisdom. Loads of experience to offer us. Her presence in the reading suggests a cycle of some kind and it's it brings the message of something that we're nurturing, holding in heart space, bringing to life, giving birth to. That's the energy I feel here, but she's definitely in command. I feel the message. She has it well in hand. So that's what's on offer to us today which is really quite sweet. There's a lot of Venus energy on this card, lots of intuition on this card. So I'm feeling a connection to yesterday's reading with the high, the presence of the High Priestess. I feel like we are still sh um, exercising discretion in how we are sharing our heartfelt inspirations. You know, we're mindful of where we spend our energy in regard to our inspirations. Hmm. Coming with our Empress is the Two of Swords. That's the Ace of Swords two times over there. So that's a lot of brilliant clarity and everlasting strength. The blindfold for me when I see this card is symbolic of going within to our own intuitive gifts. Yet another connection for me to the High Priestess out of yesterday's reading and a connection here to the Empress. She doesn't look outside herself for anything. She goes within. And we may need to do that today. Coming with, we have the Six of Wands. Mm. We're very mindful of our skills, talents, achievements, victories, and successes. And I feel that the presence of the Empress brings the Six of Wands, which is also a card of harmony and balance, to light for us. And we're not looking outside ourselves for any of this. We know that this all comes from within us. Whatever, uh, whatever we're looking to our intuitive gifts for in the way of guidance. It's not something we find outside of us. It is within. It's our own internal wisdom. We're being a great channel for that Empress today. And it's bringing victory and success for us. And then... <laughs> look at that the sun again oh more brilliant clarity than ever and I like that our two of swords has a moon right there so we've got moon and sun more harmony more balance that adds that adds more to the six of wands right there so there's a lot of fire passion creativity I feel a lot of gusto dynamic movement forward in a steady balanced stable way but in pure raw happiness joy and bliss from the sun happiest card in tarot and coming with the sun is the eight of pentacles which you know its message is all about doing the work of our soul and what i feel here i'm going to connect again to yesterday's reading because we had the seven of pentacles in yesterday now we in yesterday's message now we see the eight and the eight is all about doing the work of our soul, sticking with it. And in the seven of pentacles, sometimes there's this desire uh, to rush things along. And then you, you come to the eight. And in this particular suit, when we get to the eight, there's almost always a ho-hum energy described in any tarot deck about, about the eight of pentacles. Like, oh, uh, it's boring. It isn't. You're doing the work of your soul. What's more magnificent than that? And you're doing it in the brilliant clarity of the sun. So raw love, joy, bliss, happiness, laughter. And eights are all about movement. And so this eight may be considered, <clears throat> pardon, a slow mover. But do you want to rush through the energy of the sun? 
or do you want to savor that? Hmm. Right? Let's see what comes next. Yeah, another eight, the eight of cups. That's beautiful. Ace of cups to the power of eight right there. <clears throat> Pardon. So this card, as I tell you so often, it has a connection to eclipse energy for me. Now, it wasn't that long ago that we were seeing this eight quite often. And we've had messages frequently and recently about how we are in this amazing energetic atmosphere to take a look at things that serve us, maybe don't serve us. If they don't serve us, how are we recycling? How are we moving through those energies? What are we doing with them? We've seen the death card in the high priestess, queen of cups show up a lot. So we've been sweeping a lot off our foundation. So when I see the eight of cups here right next to the eight of pentacles and the sun doing the work of our soul in pure, raw, happy, love, and bliss, right? Now, eights are all about movement. This is how we are moving at this time. We are feeling free. We are feeling liberated. We are trusting our intuitive guidance. We are leaning deeply into <clears throat> our skills, talents, and achievements there and putting them in motion and gaining more momentum in this fabulous atmosphere to continue cultivating the beautiful energy that's on offer to us as a divining cosmic gift and of our own creation. That's why we saw the seven of pentacles yesterday. You don't pick the fruit before it's ready, but it is ripening on the vine and we are in excited anticipation for that, but we're not going to stagnate there. We're not going to stand there. We're not going to linger. We're going to keep right on moving. And we saw that with the two of, I think it was the two or the three of wands, or maybe we saw them both. I'm not recalling exactly. We at least saw one of them, but we were putting roots down and still traveling toward the next horizon. And that message continues in today's reading. Coming with this is now the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> oh, I was just talking to you about divine and cosmic gifts on offer. And here's the Ace of Pentacles, which is a doorway of opportunity that we're stepping through. So I do think it was the two of wands in yesterday's reading. We've gone beyond that threshold. We've traveled deep in. Yes, I remember speaking about the hermit and how the quest continues to beckon. And here it is on the Ace of Pentacles. So we continue to cross these thresholds. Uh, there's no stagnation. It's, it's all dynamic movement forward. And it doesn't matter how fast or slow that process goes. We are savoring it. We are cherishing it. We have it well in hand. We're steering that ship. <laughs> so sweet. Okay. Then we move on to the Page of Cups. We've got something to offer here. The Page of Cups is usually holding the Ace of Cups and there's a fish jumping out of it. That fish is representative of uh, our intentions coming to life. So here again is a connection to the Empress. We are giving birth to the very things we hold in heart space. These are coming to life on our foundation because we've been doing what it takes to clear off the foundation, what is no longer of service to us so that we can make way for all of what's blossoming now mm, and in the coming harvest. And now we have justice. What an interesting card sitting right next to the page of cups because as I look at those two together I feel the two of cups in them like they are making the two of cups it's more of a fair exchange of energy we have a lot to offer and the universe has a lot to offer right back and our two eights here keep that infinity loop going for us in happiness in love in joy <laughs> from the sun Ooh. I like it. I also feel in practical matters of day-to-day -day life, some of us may be harmonizing uh, a situation. Whether it's a legal situation or not, the Justice card usually does mention something about legalities. Uh, we could be filing papers. We could be sorting out a situation in the justice system. So I do feel practical matters at hand, but... Uh, in connection with the Page of Cups, I feel the fulfillment of uh, these practical matters in a way that is harmonious to all involved. Mm. Mm -hmm. Next we have, oh my goodness, yes, the Ace of Cups. <laughs> 
So two aces in the reading here, and the ace of cups is very well represented in other cards. So, or in the other cup card here on the eight. Uh, that's a lot of overflow. And in the Gilded Tarot, we have a moon phase, a moon cycle happening here. So I'm coming back yet again to the Empress and cycles and rhythms. So things are taking their own sense of divine and perfect timing. And our role really is to be in allowing for for the energy atmosphere to unfold in a way that harmonizes to our six of wands, our skills, talents, achievements, right? And then the blessing of the sun in the reading, the blessing of the ace of cups, the blessing of the ace of pentacles. It's all got its own rhythm to it. And the more happiness we bring, the less or contribute, participate with, the less concerned we are with time, I feel here. We definitely go with the flow. We get into the rhythm and the cycle and we create this beautiful infinity loop coming back to the eights uh, where we keep that flow going. Hmm. That's great confirmation because we've had that message more than once too. And then, oh my goodness, the nine of cups. <laughs> the eight, the nine, and the ace of cups in the reading. And the ace of cups represented not only in the eight but in the page as well. And then just add those two together and you make the Ten of Cups. So this is fulfillment. This is completion in a blissful, loving, happy way. And it's because of how we are investing our spirit, our soul, our energy, our joy and happiness. That's a choice. And that choice is getting made here with the Two of Swords. Mm. We are choosing over and over again to make real, lasting, savoring experience and change in our worlds by deliberately choosing to be happy. <laughs> and the universe keeps dishing up this kind of energy for more fuel, for more inspiration. Mm, so sweet. All right, we're going to go to Angel Answers. It feels like we don't need these cards right now. <laughs> and yet, they are worthwhile. They're great confirmation. They're great at answering questions if you've got them related or not to what's in the reading. Our first card is emphatic yes. Coming with communicate clearly. I don't actually think communicating clearly is a problem. I, I really think that we are mastering that at this point. I feel it intuitively that yes, emphatically, we are. This is a card about being a great listener. It's, it's also hearing what's not being spoken, the energy behind the expression, and it's encouragement to check in with who you're speaking with. Do they understand you? Do you understand them? Ask those questions. That's how you communicate clearly. <laughs> Next, we have abundance. Mm -hmm. I like seeing that. That's confirmation for me with uh, the Empress and the Six of Wands. I feel an abundant flow with those cards. And then we have take action. Again, not something we need a whole lot of encouragement for. Uh, we're not gathering dust at all. We're not lingering. We're not standing still. We're staying in the flow. It's okay to pause, savor, take a breath. It's still part of the action. Okay. Our affirmation from the universe has your back. Oneness is my true nature. Yes, it is having that sense of oneness in your own heart space, in self-relationship that allows this kind of fantastic to broadcast and ripple through your life. It creates amazing opportunity, amazing connection with the people we know, love, and trust. So this at our core is driving everything else you see here. <laughs> That's beautiful. Have a beautiful Tuesday. Peace, love, happiness, and joy. Namaste. See ya.